And now we bring you the third matchup of our first ever Origin Cup, another veteran versus youngster matchup. Anton Raga facing off against Francisco Django Bustamante. Unahin ko muna itong si Anton. Ito, mga kalaban mo, isa sa mga iniidolo mo ngayon. So, paano, ka, paano mo pinaghandaan itong laban na alam mo si Django, mga kalaban mo? Siyempre, pinaghandaan ko po kasi isa din sa idol natin yan. Kaya, sana buwan natin sa break tsaka sa bola. Alam naman natin, Django, na tourne, tournament ito. So, hindi mo pwedeng pagbigyan kahit sino naman dito. Pero again, anong paghahandaan mo kontra dito kay Anton? Eh, siyempre, ingatan ko siya dahil siyempre, bata yan. Hindi sumasablay, lalo na hindi sumasablay yung mga yan. Pero itong laban na ito, race to seven, kahit sino pwedeng manalo rito dahil short race lang eh. Okay, labanan po ito ng Tarlac kontra Cebu sa pagpapatuloy po ng ating Origin Cup. Next matchup for today for day one of the Origin Cup features... Anton Raga against Francisco Django Bustamante. All right, lagging for the break ngayon. And once again, we'd like to thank our audiences for watching the first ever Origin Cup. And like earlier on, it is the matchup between a veteran and a youngster. Of course, the veteran being the legendary Francisco Django Bustamante going up against Anton Raga. Noel Zarate still alongside AJ Ong. Ayan. And so, as we saw in that matchup earlier between Ronnie Alcano and Benok Regalario, nothing is for certain, even if you're the veteran. Yun na nga. Munti ka na dun si, ano, no? si Ronnie. Akala yeah. niya, araratsyada tong si, ano, si Benok. Pero still... No, ang, ganda, ang gandang effort, ganda ng uh, pinakita ni Bernie Regalario kanina. And winning the lag will be the veteran Francisco Django Bustamante. And he makes the 10 ball immediately. But as we all know, in 10 ball, there is no golden break. So the 10 ball does come up. But what happens here is that Bustamante still stays at the table. Then does not have a clean shot at the 1. So he's going to be pushing out. The question is to where? Pushes out to a distant part of the table wherein Anton Raga, 23-year-old from Cebu, he can see the one but decides to give it back to the veteran. So the option here for Django is actually to hide the cue ball behind the six or the nine, but that's very, very close to the pocket. Yeah. It's like he's queuing away. It's going to be the one he's hiding, but it looks like there could be a rail first attempt here for Anton Raga. <coughs> Doesn't even shot. need the, yeah. Doesn't even need the rail. And Three with that, ball mm -hmm. and merong uh, four nine combination. After. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes, Perfect. playing to the four nine. Yeah. And uh, Raga calls the nine. Just needs to contain the four though. Ooh. Mm. Called the nine, but the four went down, so that's gonna be a foul. Yeah, it'll be uh, an option. Yeah, it's an option now. Django. Yeah. Ito nag usapan na yung ano? Tinira ni Anton. Yeah, so the option is do you return the shot now to Anton or do you continue? 
now well uh, the five ball is uh, is available, is available. So, yeah. so kukunin na to ni yeah, Django is going to fire this right now that is not a foul or is it a foul ball in hand no it's not it's an option option lang siya so yeah. hindi siya hindi siya ball in hand foul, yeah. uh -oh. hindi siya ball in hand magiging option lang ito and the option now fired by Django is to open up the table buti hindi tumama dun sa 8 mhm mm And the veteran, 57-year-old. I said it was a 56-year-old. He actually turned 57 last December 29. So 57-year-old, been there, done that guy. From Tarlac Province in the Philippines. Looks poised to take rack number one in this race to seven. So ito yung sabi ni CJ Jose Reyes. Hula ko lang ito, ha? Semi si Dao, Dennis Orculio, saka Biado Raga. Sa kabila naman, Jericho Banyares and Roland Garcia. Mm -hmm. Those are good choices. Of course, Roland Garcia will still see action tomorrow against another veteran, Antonio Nicoy Lining. That will be the last match of the round of 16. And Bustamante oh. misses the 10. Nilakasan. Pero buti nila lang hindi iniwanan ng madali itong si Anton. And again, it, it also happens to the veterans. It doesn't only happen to our amateur players in the Sharks 9-ball showdown. That is clear-cut evidence that even a veteran like Francisco Bustamante will miss a gimme. <coughs> and look at this shot now coming from Anton. Oh, Oof. almost. And si uh, Django Bustamante will yeah. gladly take that miss. We'll win the first rack. Yeah, na dapat sa kanya naman anyway. Yeah. Diba? Yeah, but again, Django's got to be careful from this point on. As he does score first here in our race to seven in mm -hmm. the Origin Cup. So once again, for those of you just joining us, this is day number one of the Origin Cup brought to us by Origin Carbon Fiber Shafts. This is the third matchup for today. And for those of you who missed the earlier action, Dennis Orculio defeated Edgy Geronimo seven racks to four to move on to the quarterfinals. And the, the match previous to this one that you're watching right now, match number two, was between Ronnie Alcano and uh, Benok Regalario. And Ronnie winning by the skin of his teeth there, <laughs> seven to yeah. six against the 15-year-old. So our first quarterfinal pairing is already been has already been decided. It will be Dennis Orculio versus Ronnie Alcano. And that will happen tomorrow at around 6 p.m. That's the first quarterfinal pairing. And now, Django Bustamante to break. Astal Victrias is able to rack it up. And if you're also just joining us, Django Bustamante missed an open shot on the 10, but luckily for him, Anton Raga was not able to convert. And there's a ball down on the break, which happens to be the one ball. And a clean shot on the two, but no pocket here. Yeah, so uh, baka magana to si Anton or, uh, go, uh, or si Django. Django, yeah. rather. He's calling a pocket though. He's trying to bang this two. Nice Ooh, shot. Wow. One of the best bank shot artists in the game. Yeah, that's right. There you have it, Francisco Bustamante. Mm -hmm. Boy, he's stroking this well. Nga lang talaga kanina, his he's shot on the 10. The 10 ball, yeah, that's right. Very uncharacteristic, but still able to pick up rack number one. He's going to go to the corner pocket on this shot on the four. Beautiful. <coughs> the layout will have a problem ball here. The eight ball is uh, with the ten ball with no social distancing. So let's see how Django addresses this. And good afternoon to you too. K okay, Jigs C Pabon from uh, Payatas A. Yeah, 
here it is. This is the key shot now. Oh, well, the eight after the seven does look like it passes, though. Hindi, sisirain niyo itong ocho at itong gis. Ay, oh, lusot, lusot. Lusot pala yeah, itong ano, like it ocho. So, hindi dikit. Yeah. Hindi ko makita dito sa top yeah, shot yeah, natin. Ayun, may you know. awang pala. And our top shot is not, uh, usually fools us a lot. So, Django is gonna have a break and run out here. Although, we did say this earlier <laughs> when he missed the 10 ball. But he was able to still win rack number one. And rack number two. And this time, I guess na talagang wala naman ng sablay to. He's just gonna, he's just gonna roll this in. Yeah. There you go. There you go. So John, John go getting some applause from from <laughs> Dennis Olcuyo and uh, Ronnie Alcano, who are still here to watch their friend try to advance here in the Origin Cup. So ito na sa si uh, Francisco Bustamante leading with two points to nil to si Anton Raga. And syempre maraming salamat sa Bugsy Promotions, Origin Carbon Fiber Shafts, Billy's Resort in Oslo, Cebu, Aqua V, V Lugao, Ang Lugao ng Cubao, Mud Cakes by V, kay Karex Kayanong ng Target on Air sa DZME 1530 kHz, Bounce Apparel, Music Avenue, Vehement, Lulu's Apple Pie, and syempre De Hadista and Yamalisa Sports Bar. Another monster break there coming from Bustamante. Kita ba niya yung uno? Can he see the one ball from here? No, that's the nine. Oh, that's the yeah, nine. That's the nine and uh, ito open shot on the two. Oh, yeah, okay. So, pumasok ang uno. Yeah, the two ball. Now, the problem is the three ball sort of uh, eclipsed. Well, he not runs into the ten. She now gives him a bank shot on the three. Or a safety. Yeah. Now the four is already at the side pocket. Yeah, he's contemplating whether to play defensive or offensive. This is a makeable bank shot for Bustamante. Ito, shout out kay uh, Veneracion, Marlon Bryan, and kay uh -huh. Michael Dakanay, and also to Raymart Pangan. From Sydney, Australia. Django chooses to play safe. And <laughs> we also have Rolando Peñales watching from Las Vegas. All right, there you go. So now to Anton Raga. First time at the table since rack number one. Does uh, he have an offensive option here? Yeah. To the 10, yeah, that's what I'm looking at also right now. But is there's also a counter safety probably behind the four ball. He's gonna call the 10. mini clip shot, pero no, 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 this is makeable. <laughs> this is makeable. Yeah, this is makeable. Wow, look at that, look at that. perfect yeah. bank shot from Anton Raga. And so, Anton Raga abbreviating rack number three with that bank shot combination from the three to the ten. And he will be breaking in rack number four. And after this, we already saw, I, actually I already saw when I went down to interview the players that uh, Carlo Biado is already in the building. He will be going up against Jundel Mazon in match number four, which happens in about less than an hour's time. There is the living legend, Francisco Django Bustamante. But he will have to wait until the 23-year-old from Cebu, from Talisay, Cebu, breaks here in rack number four. And nothing down, but no shot on the one for Django. Kita ko yung ano pag break ni Anton talaga may pag ano iling sa ulo no talagang diin. Yeah, actually Django can see this one ball. He's gonna call the ten. He's, he's gonna bank the one into the ten. Wow, this the is corner. Wow, I wanna see this shot. One to the ten. Oh, this is the ten. Went oh, around. One tak sa uno. Yeah, but looks like he sold out the table too. It all depends now. Well, it's not uh, <coughs> not an easy layout. Yeah, that's right. No, the one to the yeah the one ball with the cue ball against the rail. It's gonna be the tough shot here. 
Yeah. Mm -hmm. and, and scratches. Yeah, that's it. And scratching his head, Anton Raga. Nag scratch at nag scratch ng ulo. Yes, it's a double scratch. <laughs> double scratch. <laughs> Scratches his head. Scr Scratches the cue ball. He scratched the cue ball. <laughs> <laughs> Very funny from AJ on today, huh? <laughs> what? <laughs> I remember last night all of the comments of the Sharks Nine Ball Showdown were all hilarious. Very hilarious. <laughs> yeah. So. See now how Janko prepares for the three. Looks like he's going for it in the side pocket. Probably play a little draw as well to get from the three to the four. I think that's that's my first time seeing uh, Django using his his left hand. Oh well, yeah. No, to say usually he uses the yeah, uh, but it's kind of hard to go behind the back, the back <laughs> from where he was. And Django's got this open layout now. Ooh. Mumug. Yeah. <laughs> Happens to the best of them, really. Yeah. Django leaving the four. Easy pickings here for Anton Raga, who's actually one of my picks <laughs> to, mm -hmm. to win the tournament. My picks were um, this kid, Anton Raga, along with Roberto Gomez and Nicoy Lining. Those were my three picks. And of course, AJ selected Dennis Orculio, Carlo Biado, and Levan Cortez. Dennis is already through to the quarterfinals. So, who are your picks based on what we're seeing right now? Of course, Edgy Geronimo has already been eliminated by Dennis Orculio, and uh, the 15 year old Benoc Regalario, barely eliminated by Ronnie Alcano just a few um, moments ago. So, who are your picks to win it all? Here in the first ever Origin Cup, you can comment away. And Anton Raga has this 10 ball to tie it up. Ayan na nga, two, two points apiece. apiece. Yeah. Tong si Francisco Bustamante and Anton Raga. And siempre bago magsimula ulit ng uh, susunod na laro. Maraming salamat sa Bugsy Promotions. Origin Carbon Fiber Shafts. Billy's Resort in Oslo, Cebu. Aqua V. Vilugao ang lugaw ng Kubao, Mud Kicks by V, Kikarex Kayanong ng Target on Air sa DZME 1530kHz, Bounce Apparel, Music Avenue, Vehement All About the Process, Lulu's Apple Pie Since 2000, and syempre De Hadista and Liamadista Sports Bar in Quezon City, Philippines. Once again, we'd like to thank everybody for greeting us or, or joining us here in our live stream of the first ever Origin Cup. Noel Zarate alongside AJ Ong. And this break is going to get the eight ball down as well as the one ball. So better late than never for the 23 year old from Cebu. So this will be a pretty easy layout now. Waiting for Anton Raga. Key shot right now is getting from the three to the four. Because the seven is in the way, but if he can get an angle, he can probably play the four into the side. Let's see what he decides on. He play the power draw and gets enough to see the four. <coughs> Looks like he's playing the four seven combination anyway. Yeah, and this is going to solve everything. Parang rapido din tumira to, no? Oh, all of them, Ambilis. actually. I, I would think that the, f that the only player who really is very deliberate with regards to his shot would be Baset Mokaibat. Ah, okay. Yeah, he's probably the most deliberate of all of them. Sakai, first time ko siya may hita maglaro, yeah. ever. Well, Baset will be taking on Jonas Magpantay in our second matchup for tomorrow. As Anton Raga has this to take the lead against the legendary Francisco Django Bustamante in the Origin Cup. Yeah, so uh, lead, leading na si Anton Raga with three points, Francisco with two, 
At uh, yeah, we got eto. some comments, yeah. Yo, ito na nga, binabasa ko na. Si Hans Paolo Lustre, Anton all the way. <coughs> And uh, ito si uh, Jerome Posadas, mas kaabang-abang na ang laban. Pa-shoutout mga boss. Hello to you. Hello to you too. There's Anton Raga. Sabi ni Hans Paolo Lustre, jungle. ang dali ng bilyar pag pinapanood ko si Anton. <laughs> oh, diba? Watch out for that matchup later between Carlo Bihado and Jun Del Mazon. And of course, our last game for today will feature Superman versus Panday. That's what I'm looking forward to. As Anton Raga makes the six ball on the break, cue ball gets kicked around, but he still has a shot on the one. Yeah, yeah. ito open na open itong uno. No obstruction and appears to be no layout issues here as well. Again, whoever controls the break has a massive advantage, but mm -hmm. a miss on the one. Gets lucky though, because here comes the four ball. The four ball is on the way. Yeah, to block the path of Django Bustamante. Shout out to Mike Aragones, ang aking kaibigan na nanonood dito. Mm -hmm. Kamusta ka na, Mike? Long time no see. Django is gonna try two rails around, it appears, around the five. No, I should try to go for just one rail, but missed on the one. And a shout out to VJ Santos. Ayan, pa shout out po kami ng partner kong si Ruby. Nanonood po kami from Morong, Rizal. That's right, Morong. That's uh, very near where Tal Victrios and I reside in Antipolo. Mm hmm. Now, the machine-like dragon is back at the table. And ball in hand after the foul by Francisco Django Bustamante. And Anton Raga is just going through this table. Yeah, the dragon is on fire. It's like a hurricane going around this table right now. Sa mga pro, parang wala pa atang ano, pinangala ng The Shark. The diba? Shark? Oh. Ang, si Pating. Kunyari, Pating. Diba? Mm -hmm. Parang local na local yeah, yung dating. That, that's good. There is a golfer though by the name The Shark, Greg Norman. Ah, oh, so sa so golf naman. Shark, yeah. Not quite sure if there's any other player named The Shark. We can call AJ Ong The Shark. Well, actually, si Vernice Mariano tawag sa akin dati The Shark. Why? Why <laughs> would Vernice know. call you a shark? Yung uh, buo ko si dati parang uh, may fin. My goodness. <laughs> AJ Ong's younger years are starting to catch up with us. <laughs> But look at the youngster. Anton Ayun. Raga winning four straight racks. Now, oh no, sorry. K k uh, check that. Winning back-to-back -back racks. At eto or na, three no? straight rather, yeah. Two racks. Ano siya? Ahead na kay Francisco yeah. Bustamante na kanina. Itong si Django ang 2-0, di ba? 2-1 actually. Ah, 2-1, uh, no? Yeah, three straight racks now by Anton Raga. And yan mm -hmm. na, uh, shoutout kay Rudy Mar Mojica watching here with us. And Den Garcia, mm -hmm. Miguel Ferrer, and Jerome Posadas. Thank you guys for joining us again. This is match number three in the round of 16 of the first ever Origin Cup. We're doing our bilingual broadcast i'm speaking in straight english and aj is doing all of the tagalog commentary <laughs> yeah <laughs> so we can reach a very wide array of audiences and the first time we see a dry break now from anton raga and Django bustamante springs to the table that three seven eight cluster doesn't appear to be an issue right now if he takes care of the two ball but it's really the shot on the one where will Django put this Django tries to go behind the nine. It does not work. And now Anton Raga does have a shot on the one. And the correct angle to get to the two. Now here's the key shot now. From the two to the three, unless he settles for a long shot on the three. Like he will settle for a long shot on the three, unless it goes into the side. No, ito sa ano to, sa corner. Yeah, to. so you can get good preparation and for the four. 
para perfect sa 4. Yeah. He has a long shot now on the 3. No problem for the kid from Cebu. We have a comment from VJ Santos. Sana kayo lagi nagko-commentator sa mga laban ng billiard na kakagiliw. Wah. Yeah, thank you. Wait until you catch our commentary of the Sharks nine ball. Oh, oh <laughs> that's the <tonight>. night. <laughs> that's more free flowing and you know more what you can say more provocative. <laughs> <laughs> Oh wow, Anton Raga is just tearing up the table right now. The only um, unforced error actually coming from Django Bustamante in rack number one, which he still won anyway. Since then, Anton Raga has made uh, full use of his time at the table. Wow. Right enough for his fifth point. You got it. Ayan. Five racks to two now. That is the lead of Anton Raga against Francisco Django Bustamante. And syempre, maraming salamat sa Bugsy Promotions, Origin Carbon Fiber Shafts, Billy's Resort in Oslo, Cebu, Aqua V, V Lugaw, ang Lugaw ng Cubao, Mud Cakes by V, Kekarex Kayanong ng Target on Air sa DZME 1530 kilohertz, Bounce Apparel, Music Avenue, Vehement, all about the process. Lulu's apple pie since 2000. And syempre ang ating dehadista and liamadista sports bar in Quezon City, Philippines. We welcome you now to rack number eight with Anton Raga breaking two and the ball. two ball. He goes down. And an open shot on the one. Very open shot on the one here. Ito we have a uh, comment from Anito Kid Leslie Mapugay. Uh -huh. And si Anito Kid. Uh, the Origin Cup starting the year right with... Awesome and exciting pool action. Superstars yeah. versus superstars. Legends versus legends. Well, Ganda. Galing. Thank exactly. you very much. Thank you very much. <coughs> Sir Anito Kid, uh, sana magkita na tayo in person. <laughs> Tagal na natin magkaibigan sa Facebook at uh, puro lang tayong chat. <laughs> well, this is going to be a challenging one for Anton Raga because he needs to hold position uh -oh. for the four. Uh -oh. Oh. Yun na, nagka-problema dito sa yeah. sa is. That's the that was the problem because yeah that angle was always going to have this happen. Ito shout out sa aking itay, sa aking tatay, papa shout out. The all seeing eyes. The all seeing eyes. George o. Oh, nice kick shot there for the four. However, it's a sellout and looks like Django is going to get back on track. Ito na, nagsisilabasan ng mga Sharks 9-ball players natin. Yeah. Kakakulitan na. Rogel Garcia, sabi niya, boundary na si General Trias. <laughs> Siyempre, boundary na nag- uh, nag- uh, officiate ngayon yeah. sa labang ito. Well, he just made it here just in time for the match number two. Mm -hmm. Shoutout din kay Rajin Bu is in the building. Oh, he's here? Oh. Oh. Si Raji Patalinghug. Yeah, and he's going to say the table is beautiful. Actually, it is. Tama, siyempre. Whiz kids at work. Yeah, Django's going to get back on track here. He had lost three, make that four straight racks. And one preparation error. That's all it takes now. One preparation error from Anton Raga. Django's back. That hit on the nine even helped for position. And Francisco Bustamante has this 10 ball to win rack number eight and stay within striking distance of Anton Raga. Oy. Oh, wow, that's the Another second. Mistake. Take on the last ball. Second time he's missed on the 10 ball. Yun na nga. Django Bustamante. I can guarantee you Anton Raga was not expecting yeah, to come back to the table. Yeah, that uh, miss from Django. 
Yun. Yeah. He deposits the 10 easily. Ano so now, nakasan pa. Yeah. Anton Raga is now on the hill. Ang bilis, no? Yeah. On the hill, itong si Anton Raga na ngayon. Ito nga, di ba? Sanay na sa larong uh, race to 50. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we covered diba? that actually. Diba? When he went up against Jericho Banyares in a race to 50, which he won. Mm-hmm. 50 to 45 actually. Sabi nito ni Taha Rash, Django is nervous. Well, sa tingin ko hindi. I don't think he's yeah, nervous. Think he's just unfortunate. <laughs> Maybe lack of uh, concentration perhaps. Yeah, yeah, it's just unfortunate also on those two misses that he had. And, and Ten ball Raga, again yeah. went in and along with the, go on the spot. Yeah, along with the seven ball. Now, no shot on the one for uh, Anton Raga. So he's going to have to push this out. And now he's going to go rail to rail. Mm-hmm. Did not go rail to, rail to rail, but still enough for Django to see the entire one ball. And Django didn't even stand up. And passes it on to yeah. Anton Raga. Mm. Anton just nails the one ball against the rail. So pretty much the same shot that uh, Janko passed back is what he has now. Was that even intentional? Well, he got a good result. Double kiss, right? Yeah, he got a good result. So, ito, we have a comment from Crispin Limoserno. Limosnero. Mm-hmm. Yan. Mahina na din mata ni Idol Django natin. Panahon na ng mga bata ngayon. Well, I don't know. Django played a pretty good safety here. Yun na nga. Pero yun na nga, hindi natin maiwasan na tumatanda ang ating mga idol. Yeah. Pero hindi ibig sabihin nun, hindi pa sila, ano, di ba? Hindi pa laos. Hindi makakalaban, mm-hmm. di ba? Raga, with a good counter. But Django can see this. Mm-hmm. Yun na lang talaga yung, ano eh, ang disadvantage ng, uh, ng mga veterano yung linaw ng mata, yung stamina, pero nandun pa rin yung ano, yung dunong. Yes. Hindi mo wala yun. Got another good safety here from Django Bustamante, but nothing that a kick shot can't fix. And looking at Anton Raga, he's thinking of going to the short rail. It's a long distance kick shot that he has here on the one, and he barely makes contact. Ito, from Tero Hilpinen, he seemed to have some unwanted body movement on the 10. That's a good, that's, that's a good point. Mm. This is going to be a Francisco Django Bustamante special, except that it hit the 9. You know, and it opened up for the 1. Yeah. <coughs> so, si Kalex, kagat-kagat, boss, bakit hindi kasali si Idol Efren? Yeah. Oh, he's unavailable, actually. Mm, dapat kasali siya yeah. dito. He's one of those, actually, top of the list, uh, Efren, but he begged off because he was not available, as was Jeff De Luna, who was also originally on the list. Actually, I believe Jeff De Luna is already in the United States. And I hear he's going to take on one of the top players from Russia. And uh, right now, Anton Raga can do no wrong. Very open layout. And he is six balls away from advancing to the quarterfinals of the first ever Origin Cup. So we have a, we have a question from uh, Putot ni Lakay SB. Boss, bakit di kasali si Idol? Oh, wait lang, sana ba yun? Nag-move tuloy yung comments. Mm-hmm. Boss, bakit di kasali si Jericho Banyares? Actually, he is he's here. up next. He's actually this, in the uh, building match. already. Si uh, yeah. Oops. Panday. Ooh, that was close. Yeah, Jericho's in the building already, actually. Well, again, there's only one pool table here, so you don't get a practice run. I mean, the guys who were lucky enough to get a practice run today, actually, Edgy Hieronimo was here like a full oh, two hours before. Your first game, no? Yeah, Dennis Arculi arrived 30 minutes before his match. And that's so there it. we have it. And just like that, we have a winner. Anton Raga, seven points. And Francisco Bustamante, <laughs> na sa two yeah, points. And, and Django is actually just going back to the two ten balls that he missed yeah. prior prior to to this one. And you can see there, that is uh, 
Carlo Biado. Ito Going to warm next. up already, yeah. Ito, si Carlo Biado and si Jundel Mazon. Okay. Ah, ito pala. Nasa ano pa lang pala tayo, 5 p.m. So, yun, up next na pala itong si uh, Carlo Biado. And susunod sa kanila is Roberto Gomez and Jericho Banyares. Yeah. So, the Origin Cup continues right here. So, keep it locked. As uh, AJ mentioned, we will have the matchup coming up next between Carlo Biado and Jundel Mazon right here on the Origin Cup.